Hi, I'm JC and I'm here to help you practice your English. Do you know what these are called? We use them in the garden because the theme today is garden galore and what we're talking about is anything that has to do with a garden. There are so many things. Galore we use to mean many things. It means a lot. Galore. So, do you know what these are? They're not scissors, they're not pliers, and later on in the video you'll find out what we call them. And there are really two names for this instrument, this tool, this gardening tool. What we're going to do today is I'm going to describe 15 different items that we may find in someone's garden. Sometimes they're tools, sometimes they're decorative items, sometimes they may be pieces of furniture. And I'll read the description to you, I'll get you to repeat the description after me, and then let's see if you can find the answer to each one. I will give you the correct answer and I'll let you repeat after me. So you may learn a few words and maybe this will be a review for you at the same time. So, let's get started. Number one. This garden tool is ideal for digging holes. Repeat. And there are two answers here. You can say shovel or you can say spade. And as you see in the picture, there is a difference. A spade is more curved towards the top. Number two. This piece of garden furniture can seat four people and generally sway them back and forth. Repeat. Now, do you understand the word sway? It's to sway. Sometimes when there's a lot of wind, trees will sway in the wind. But this piece of furniture lets people go like this. What's it called? Swing. Repeat. Swing. And in the picture, you see there's a garden swing, which is quite a big piece of furniture. And uh, people like to sit in it to relax, sometimes in the evenings, sometimes in the mornings. It depends when there's not a whole lot of sun and uh, uh, it's not too hot. Number three. To collect dead leaves and twigs, this useful, long-handled tool is frequently used by gardeners. Repeat. Now in the description we had the word twigs, and twigs are small branches. Now did you get the answer to this one? Rake. That's right, rake. Sometimes people say a garden rake, a garden rake. And there are two types of rakes. There's a rake for leaves, and usually they have blades that spread out like this, and they're quite long. And then there's another kind of a rake, which is a, a level rake, and landscapers use this when they're trying to level off your ground, uh, and uh, the blades are not very long and wide. And the, in the picture you will see the difference. Number four. When water is needed for plants and vegetables, Gardeners use this long, thin item. Repeat. I also could have mentioned that it is made of either rubber or plastic, especially plastic nowadays. Did you get the answer? Hose. Repeat. Hose. That's right. And sometimes people will say a garden hose, a garden hose. 
Number five. Gardeners cut the grass with this tool, which possesses an engine powered by electricity or gasoline. Repeat. And the answer is lawnmower. Repeat. Lawnmower. And the verb to mow the lawn. So lawn mower. Now there is a version that does not use electricity or gasoline and it's man powered and it's a push mower. And I remember when I was growing up, that's what we had at home and I hated using it. It was a lot more work because you really had to push hard in order to cut the grass. Number six, transporting soil and other necessary materials can be done with this garden accessory. Repeat. And did you get this one? It's called a wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow. And I have a picture of ours here. It's a red one and we use it a lot. It is very useful. Number seven. To provide small quantities of water to plants and vegetables, this portable item does the job easily. Repeat. And it's called a watering can. Repeat. Number eight. This decorative garden item circulates water non-stop. Repeat. And I think this one was easy. It is fountain. Repeat. Fountain. Now, sometimes people have small fountains in their house uh, because it gives kind of a Zen feeling uh, in your home to hear water uh, being circulated, water falling. But in gardens, it's, it's very nice too. Number nine. When homeowners want to limit access to their garden or property, they erect this useful item, which is often made of wood or metal. Repeat. And did you get this one? The answer is fence, fence. And I know we have a fence around our vegetable garden because we have a lot of deer here and they like to get in that garden and have a snack. So we have an eight foot fence. So uh, they don't try to get in anymore. Number 10, this large U-shaped decorative item made of wood or metal is used to designate an entrance to a specific part of a garden and is often covered with vine or flowers. Repeat. And the answer here is arbor, arbor. And here in the picture, you see a wooden arbor. Number 11. This large three or four prong tool is used by gardeners and farmers for picking up hay and straw and throwing it in a pile. Repeat. And the answer here is pitchfork, pitchfork. And you say, why pitch? Pitch means to throw. And if you pitch something to someone, like in baseball, there's a guy that throws the ball to the batter and he's called the pitcher. Huh? So pitch to pitch. 
Number 12. This tool resembles a pair of scissors, but it is much bigger and more solidly made. Repeat. And the answer to this is shears or hedge shears, because often they're used for cutting around hedges in a garden or around trees or around fences, because often with a lawnmower, you can't be very close. So for cutting the grass, they're very useful. Number 13. Gardeners use this tool to prepare their garden soil for planting. Repeat. And there are two answers here. There's the first answer, which is a tool which is not very expensive, and it's called a hoe. A hoe. It has a long handle, as you see in the picture. And the other one is called a rototiller, and it is powered by an engine. And it is pretty big, and uh, I think you have to have a pretty big garden in order to merit using one of these machines. Number 14. To keep shrubs and flowers looking their best, one should own this useful hand tool. And here it is. Repeat. And do you know what it's called? There are two words. You can call them pruners, pruners, or you can call them pruning shears. Repeat. Very good. Okay, and well, we used these a few days ago just to cut off some dead flowers and things like that from flowering bushes. And the last one today, number 15. These are used to hold up vegetables or flowers that tend to be top-heavy. Repeat. And did you get the answer? Stakes. Stakes. Now, there are different types of stakes. There are some that are made for tomato plants, some that are made for flowers. But their job is to hold up the plant so it doesn't fall over. They provide support to the plant so it stays upright. Well, that's our guessing game for today. Did you learn any new words? I hope so. Uh, at the same time, you gain some pronunciation practice by repeating the uh, descriptions after me. So that's all for today, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.